Hi, Dr. Scott Beyer here, and today we're going to be going over part two of the thyroid adrenal connection. And if you guys haven't seen part one, uh, I highly suggest to kind of go back and find that video before watching this. But just kind of a recap is that they're finding that there's a huge interplay between our adrenal glands, which are considered our body's stress glands, and the a normal healthy physiology of thyro the thyroid gland. Now, um, the really the second biggest reason that we see in our clinic here is that uh, chronic adrenal stress or stressors can lead to a decrease in the T4 to T3 conversion. Okay, now this right here, if that makes no sense to you whatsoever, really highly go back and watch some of our other thyroid videos because what you have to realize is that the majority of what comes out of the thyroid gland in and of itself is a hormone, sorry if I was hitting the mic there, is a hormone called thyroxin, okay, which is T4. And thyroxin or T4 is actually largely metabolically inactive, okay? What you hear when you hear about all of the magical stuff that thyroid hormone does, it is actually because of this active version right there, which is T3, okay? So if what comes out of the gland is largely inactive, that inactive hormone has to get carried to other glands in the body, or not necessarily glands, but other organs, primarily like the liver, the gut, and then other organs as well, like our kidneys, our nerves, peripheral tissue, our heart, um, where it's converted into T3, where it can actually be used by the cell, okay? Now, what they're finding when it comes to our adrenal glands, to kind of shift gears a little bit, our adrenal glands, they follow like this 24-hour clock. Okay, and cortisol, which is an adrenal gland hormone, also follows that 24 hour clock. So if we look all the way over here, this is a graph of cortisol and time throughout the day. Okay, now cortisol, this dotted line is considered normal. Cortisol should be nice and high in the morning and then tapers off in the evening like this. And what happens is, is when there's stressors that are placed on our adrenal glands, what happens is initially our cortisol is it's, it's stimulated, okay? So now we move on to uh, graph number two, and uh, this red line is where cortisol is at, and this, this black and white, that dotted line is where a normal healthy cortisol should be. So when we have stimulated cortisol, what happens is it actually enhances the T4 to T3 conversion. I was really surprised when I read this in the research, but it kind of makes sense. And what happens, so I get people who ask me, you know, well, why don't, you know, why don't we just increase my cortisol so I can have more T3? And, you know, that's, I, can, I can see why they're thinking that, but what happens to our adrenal glands is that, you know, once they're being stimulated, if they continue to be stimulated at a prolonged time, what happens is, is now cortisol levels tend to drop and the adrenal glands can no longer keep up with some of the stressors of our everyday life. So we'll see number three right here, and this is where when we test for salivary, salivary adrenal hormone or cortisol, um, about 80% of our patients in this clinic will see them at this level right here where this new red line is depressed. So it's dropped. And since cortisol actually enhances the T4 to T3 conversion, when it's dropped, we actually decrease that conversion right there. And that's why people with depressed cortisol levels, you know, they feel brain fog, they have fatigue, they have a harder time losing weight, they have memory issues, um, what's another one? Big sleep issues, especially waking up in the middle of the evening. So what, what we're finding and what the research is saying is that if you can fix some of these cortisol levels, remove some of those stressors so you have normal healthy cortisol, then that plays a huge impact in the conversion of T4 to T3. If you guys found this video uh, interesting, I'm gonna be releasing a couple more in the following days, part three and part four. Go ahead and give us a like on this page, uh, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.